there we go again. You and I, we continuing with the series, Know That I Know. Know that I know that I know that I know. Encounter 2. This one's exciting, but let's do a little bit of a recap as to where we've come from. Position. That was Encounter 1. We had to understand our position. And in Ephesians 2, 6, by virtue of being in Christ Jesus, we sitting on the same chair as Jesus sits on in the throne room. Probably, maybe it's a seat or chair, but we share the same position because of Christ Jesus. So that's the position we operate from the kingdom out. So the next scripture that I use, once I have focused as to where I am positioned, what's next? Beautiful scripture. Man's goings are of the Lord. Therefore, how can he understand his own way? Proverbs 20, 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Therefore, how can he understand his own way? So I'm positioned in the throne. I have a discussion as to what is the Father's agenda in your life. I discuss what is it that is going on. And then the question is, am I involved? Am I to go? Because you see, man's goings are of the Lord. So if I am in the throne room, isn't he sending me? Do I go and serve you? Yes or no, I do. And I go serve his agenda in your life. Because you see, it's not for me to understand my own way. It's not for me to figure out what should happen in your world. It's for me to identify the fact that if I'm sitting in the throne room and the Father has already discussed what is happening, then I need to understand that whatever's been happening in the throne room and the discussions about that happening will now happen on earth as it is in heaven. My first point of call is I am going to pray. I'm going to pray into the situation that I'm going to. I'm going to pray for the people that are there. I will make a few assumptions based on Scripture. And one of the assumptions could be, I pray for your peace, Father. That's apostles all understanding. To God, our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I pray Colossians 3.15, that allow the peace of God to rule in your heart over any decisions you have in your mind. So, Father, when I go and spend time in this situation, I pray that your peace in my heart guides me as to the decisions I need to make. If I'm going to go speak publicly, my goings are of the Lord. Now, do I need to just sit back and go, well, there's no responsibility for me? Absolutely. There's responsibility that I have to take up in this situation. You see, I'm not of this world, but I'm in it. There are certain people skills that I need to know, interpersonal skills. I need to have emotional intelligence when it comes to relationships. I need to be able to hear the Father. I need to be able to know the Word. I need to be maybe dressed properly. I need to be appropriate for the situation. The Bible says I need to be all things to all men. So if I'm going to go spend time with you, what would be the appropriate way to be more impactful in your life as to how I need to dress. Um, maybe my hair needs to be neat. Maybe I need to cut my Things that I am responsible for, you see, God doesn't do miracles on that which can be done by myself. Seriously, you don't. I was in a bath, absolutely freezing outside, enjoying what was happening inside. And I just realized there was the soap, and here I'm in the bath. You know that kind of time where you're just willing to let your nose stick out for a bit of breath, but it's so cold you don't want to pop out? And I looked at the bottle of soap sitting on the other side of the bathroom on the basin, and I thought, Lord, you are all great. You are all mighty. You, are, you know those moments where you feel you just have to fluff it a bit because you're calling major power down? And I wanted that bottle of soap because at that moment in time, I was more than willing to believe God could 
move a mountain. And I was just asking for a bar of soap because it was so freezing. And I'm looking at it and I'm waiting for it to move and kind of, yeah, yeah, there you go, typical, no faith. Yeah, yeah, you should have said your prayers last night and you didn't, so why would he move the soap? And then quite clearly he said to me, he said, listen, Sean, I'm God. And yes, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. But you see, I don't do miracles on that which can be done by muscle. So, if you had no muscle and you couldn't get it yourself, I would possibly bring you the soap. But, seeing as that you have muscle, if you want me to put you in a position that you cannot use your muscles, I can arrange it for you. I tell you what, eh? I grabbed that piece of soap very quickly. Because I thought, no, it's okay. And that day I actually learned he doesn't do miracles on that which can be done by muscle. So for me, I have responsibilities. When I'm in the throne room, speaking to the Father, asking him about his agenda in your life, his agenda in my life, and then understand that he is sending me. So what kind of happens is somebody will say, hey, Sean, can you do this for me? Can you come and spend time with me? Then I go into the throne room and I spend time with the Father and I say, Father, this has come to me. Is this you telling me I must go? Is this going of you? Even if it's for a cup of coffee, do I go, yes I'm, or don't? Is this part of your agenda? What is it that your agenda is? Then I go and spend time with you. And when I'm finished, I will go, now I understand. Because you see, that's what it says. My goings are of the Lord, therefore I cannot understand my own way. I don't want to try and understand what's going to happen. But I take my responsibility as what is required of me. I position myself in the best that I can, being in the throne room. And when I go, I will find out once I've been, and then I'll understand why he sent me. Strangely enough, there have been times where I go, I don't know why. But you see, that's the amazing thing. It's not my decision. It's not my responsibility. All I have to do is, God, do I go? The understanding of it is in His hands. That we will find out. So, Father, when we are going to spend time serving your agenda, may we remember that once we are positioned in the throne room and ask you the question, Father, is this going of you? And we get that, I know that I know that I know feeling it is of you. Then it's not for me to understand what is to happen. It is for me to go, do what I can do to the best of my ability. And Father, how that turns out does not decide whether I go or not. Hopefully, you will give me the grace and the mercy to understand once I have been. But if not, Father, it will not stop me from going if you say, go. Amen. Till next time.